आई एम गजन फ्रेंड टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइजोमेरिज्म कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइजोमेरिज्म इज अ टाइप ऑफ स्टीरियो आइजोमेरिज्म द टाइप ऑफ स्टीरियो आइजोमेरिज्म इट इज आल्सो नाउन एज रोटामर्स इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ स्टीरियो आइजोमेरिज्म इन व्हिच आइसोमर्स can be inter converted into each other by free rotation around sigma bonds so conformational isomers are also known as rotamers isomers having same molecular formula same structure formula same order of connectivity of atoms but they are differ with respect to the they are differ with respect to the free rotation around sigma bond such isomers are called conformational isomers the interconversion does not require any bond making and any bond breaking a good example is conformational analysis of cyclohexane this is the planar structure of cyclohexane uh, when i flip this molecule we get half chair like conformation i again flip this molecule and we get boat like conformation of cyclohexane i again flip this molecule and we get twist board conformation this conformation is called twist board conformation i again flip this molecule and we get chair like conformation of a cyclohexane i again flip this molecule we get another conformation of a cyclohexane there is also a chair like conformation of a cyclohexane so we are moving from least stable to most stable conformation this conformation is the most stable conformation this conformation is the least stable conformation this is also least stable conformation chair like conformation is least stable conformation as compared to board twi uh, twist board or chair like conformations we have another example that is cyclobutane when i flip cyclobutane we get a conformation that is called puckered conformation this is the puckered conformation of a cyclobutane and this conformation is stable conformation as compared to cyclobutane conformation planar conformation this is the planar conformation of cyclobutane and this is the puckered conformation and is stable conformation as compared to planar conformation conformations of butane by using the newman projection formula this is the structure of butane if i am seeing from this side then this is our front carbon this is our back carbon and we are seeing along the this carbon carbon axis this is our front carbon this is our back carbon i draw this molecule like this this is our front carbon and this is our back carbon at 0 degree dihedral angle we place the substituents so this is conformation is called totally eclipsed conformation of butane and the both methyl groups are very close to each other and generates torsional strain as well as steric strain and 
it is considered as least stable conformation. Now we rotate the front carbon atoms at the angle of 60 degree in clockwise direction. I rotated this molecule. Mm. We rotate the front carbon atoms. This conformation is called skew staggered conformation. This is called totally eclipsed conformation. I again flip mo this molecule at the angle of 60 degree and we get another conformation. Sorry. There is a hydrogen here, methyl group here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. and the front carbon atoms are there. So methyl group is here and hydrogen here. This is called skew eclipsed conformation of butane. I again this rotated the front carbon atom at the angle of 60 degree in the clockwise direction and we get another conformation like this. This conformation is called totally staggered conformation and the most stable conformation of butane because both methyl groups are at opposite direction. It is called totally staggered conformation. I again rotated this molecule at the angle of 60 degree front carbon atoms and get another conformation like this molecule this is our first, second, third this is fourth and this is fifth this is called skew eclipsed conformation I again rotated the front carbon atom at the angle of 60 degree and get another conformation. And this conformation is a skew staggered conformation. Sixth. So we can see that the skew, skew staggered and skew, sorry, skew staggered and skew eclipse conformations are diastereomers of each other. They are diastereomers of each other. And this skew eclipsed, this skew eclipsed mean third and fifth conformations are enantiomers of each other. And this skew staggered conformation number 2 and this skew staggered conformation number 6 they are also enantiomers of each other 2 and 6 are also enantiomers of each other this skew eclipsed and skew staggered are diastereomers of each other 2 and 6 3 and 5 they are enantiomers of each other next is Configurational isomerism, it is a type of stereoisomerism in which isomers cannot be interconverted into each other into each other by free rotation around sigma mod.
such type of stereoisomerism is called configurational stereoisomerism configurational stereoisomerism requires interconversion required bond making and bond breaking for example the the similar groups lie on same side of the double bond so this is cis isomer and this is the trans isomer because similar groups lie on opposite side of the double bond so cis and trans isomers are interconverted into each other by a phenomena that is called stereo mutation that requires bond breaking and bond making so it this is this is a good example of configurational isomerism there is another example this chlorine lies below the plane this is a double bond and i represent there is a wedge bond here mean the substituent that is attached here is above the plane suppose it is bromide so this is trans isomer if both substituents lie in the same manner above the plane this chlorine and bromine both are above the plane so this is cis confer isomer so they are also configurational isomers of each other they are also interconvertible into each other by a phenomena that is the stereo mutation